tents that once housed refugees now stand vacant, in part because the great flow of refugees into Europe has slowed down, in part also because countries like Denmark have made it clear they're not welcome. This Syrian family arrived a year ago. Parents and young child reunited with the older boys who'd made the journey before them alone. Denmark is peaceful. Yeah, we feel relaxed in, uh, and happy in Denmark. But uh, because now with the new laws, the new laws here in Denmark, uh, is very difficult. The adults must get jobs or risk losing their living allowance but they say they're not given enough time to learn the language first. The new laws are not designed to promote integration. After thousands of refugees poured into Denmark in 2015, the government's response, influenced by its far-right partners, was to reinstate border controls. To further discourage new arrivals, benefits were cut and asylum rules tightened. The empty tents a testament to Denmark's rejection of the refugees, not by all Danes, of course, but by an increasingly right-wing government that has turned its back on this country's long history of humanitarian kindness, whether towards Jews fleeing the Holocaust or to others escaping the Iron Curtain during the Cold War. And government policy is reflected on the streets by a rise in racism. For some uh, sectors of society, this seems pretty evident. If you follow debates uh, on social media in particular, of course, the, the tone and the demagoguery has, has certainly increased. Uh, anyone, else, anyone saying anything else would be blind to the ob obvious. Marcus Knut is the government immigration spokesman. If the flow of refugees, as it was last summer, were to resume again, and we know that there is evidence that it might, mm -hmm. will Denmark, in that case, open its doors again? I think if we saw a huge influx of refugees again in Denmark, we would probably actually have to take more measures to reduce the number, uh, because we're still having issues integrating the, well, the 20,000 people who arrived last year. An empty playground in an empty camp. It looks like an invitation to come to Denmark. It isn't. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, in western Denmark.